Hello. Uh, I want to welcome everyone to Western New York's Disability Pride Celebration. My name is Todd Varick. I'm the Chief Policy Officer for Western New York Independent Living. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to this wonderful week of activities that we're going to be having that's going to educate you all on the issues relating to people with disabilities and the contributions that they make to the broader community. I want to begin as everything should always begin by thanking the people that made it possible. So I wanna open by thanking our sponsors, the National Federation of Just Communities of Western New York, the Independent Consumer Advocacy Network or ICANN, the Western New York Federal Credit Union, People First Mobility and People Incorporated, the Chrysler Complex, National Grid, Community Services for Everyone, Independent Health, Catalician Center for Learning, Mayor Byron Brown, Sassy, and the Ark of the Glow Region. Now that I've thought, that I've thanked us for uh, thanked our sponsors for the stuff you're about to see, I am really excited to talk about the things that I think are important uh, today. Being the chief policy officer and being the primary guy that does ADA stuff, we have a video later that talks about the Americans Disabilities Act and how it works, and I think that's wonderful. Uh, tomorrow, amongst other things, you're going to be able to get to see a presentation from our folks at Adaptive Water Sports. On Wednesday, you'll be able to see again an interview we did with one of the disability pioneers of the United States, Judy Human. On Thursday, we kind of turn towards the future where the Young Leaders and Advocates Network are going to have a panel with young leaders and talk about what the emergency, uh, emerging issues are. And on Friday, we're gonna be talking about, amongst other things, um, employment and people winning awards for promoting the employment of people with disabilities. Uh, it's wonderful to have all of these people participating and being able to bring these videos for you. Uh, just uh, check our Facebook page for the full schedule. There's a graphic that's gonna tell you everything that's available including being able to click the link on the ADA video that we're about to show you. Um, that's my opening. And I wanna end by being able to pass this cleanly off to a recording made by our County Executive, Mark Polencars, a great friend of people with disabilities who um, is, it, and we're very happy to have him uh, provide a statement to help us open today. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed Disability Pride and maybe I'll see you again at the closing. Hi, it's Erie County Executive Mark Polencars here to celebrate the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Normally I'd be there in person with our Erie County Office of People with Disabilities Director Frank Camerata to celebrate with you. But unfortunately due to some COVID-19 restrictions, we can't be in person. But I do have a special proclamation for the anniversary and I'd like to read it for you today. County of Erie, State of New York, Office of the County Executive, Executive Proclamation, celebrating the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Whereas on July 26th, 1990, President George Herbert Walker Bush signed into law the Americans with Disabilities Act the act ensures the civil rights of all Americans with disabilities similar to those provided to individuals on the basis of race, color, sex, national origin, age, and religion. And whereas, the legislation established a clear and comprehensive national mandate for the elimination of discrimination against all people with disabilities. And whereas, the act brought individuals with disabilities into mainstream American life by creating community standards for disability accessible design, encoding protections for the rights of the disabled, and guaranteeing that disabled individuals were entitled to the same employment considerations as those without disabilities. And whereas, the act assures equal opportunities to businesses, employment, transportation, state and local government program and services, and telecommunications to individuals with disabilities. And whereas, the act has expanded opportunities for all Americans with disabilities by reducing barriers, increasing accessibility, changing perceptions, reducing stigmas, and increasing full participation in our communities. And whereas, Erie County 
is committed to working with all residents with a disability to ensure equal access and equal opportunity to services. Now, therefore, I am proud to hereby recognize the 31st anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act and thank all the participants of this year's virtual Disability Pride Festival. Given under my hand in the privy seal of the County of Erie, State of New York, and the City of Buffalo, this 26th day of July in the year 2021. County of Erie, State of New York, Mark C. Polencars, County Executive. Congratulations to all and hopefully next year we will be meeting in person. Take care and be safe and well.